and let's continue our rig so right now i want to check my axis of my group and my joints yeah we can see that they are different but first of all let's delete this constraint Let's drag this joint right here and right now this joint let's select this group switch to rigging constrain parent and without maintain offset or oh, I turn on my access on my control actually so let's turn off and turn on my axis on my group and let's check yeah right now they are the same let's turn back my control And let's make modify freeze transformation. And let's put back our group right here. And right now I want to turn off my axis right here and from my group display transform axis and again my joint turn on my axis thumb 01 let's check yeah different No, upper, yeah, and right now I should choose my joint and this group and again constrain, parent, apply. And again, this group right here. and modify freeze transformation and turn off our axis from our group and from our joint okay let's continue so let's put back our group and again display axis and on the joint axis
this and parent okay and again right here and free transform yeah and let's make another fingers index and again let's delete these constraints yeah oh i forgot about turn off access from the joint and from this group axis yeah okay and my index display access let's put this right here and now my joint axis group and let's put this constraint and again just should put this right here yeah and again this modify freeze transform and let's turn off our axis so the next joint of our index display axis right here. And again, this joint group constraint parent and drag this control right here. And let's modify freeze transformation. Next control but let's turn off access from this joint and from this group. And again, let's put this joint right here. Let's choose this joint, this group and parent. 
and again modify freeze transformation display axis display axis and the same process with another fingers And right now we can just delete all these constraints from each finger. So let's start from this finger, right here, right here. one and right here okay and let's connect our controls to our joint with constraint parent Apply. Let's check. Yeah, it's good. Next control, press G. Let's try. Yeah. And the same right here. right now I want to group all my fingers right here control G and I want to put pivot point of this group to the wrist so W, insert, press V, snap to 
the wrist. And let's make actually the same orientation for this group just choose this wrist and this group but no at first let's display axis group display axis and right now again constrain here and let's delete let's turn off my axis right here and right here and again all my fingers to this group and let's rename our group R and yeah something like this and right now I want to put parent constraint from my main wrist to this group apply yeah okay and let's check by moving or oh, rotate our IK Yeah, it looks not bad, but I also want to check in my FK control. Yeah, awesome. So the next step that I want to do, let's look right here, fist and without bones and I want to do the same for my right hand so first of all I should create another groups both groups for each of my control control G control G Control G and uh, this group should have the same direction of axis as this group and we can actually check this V Again, V right here. Right here. And let's check our axis. Yeah. 
yeah, they are the same. So let's turn off my axis from the groups. Let's rename this pose and right here insert V F again V and right here let's check yeah in right place and again copy the name paste right here pose and the last one insert V F yeah and again right here pose and the same for each of my fingers And right now, let's switch to animation menu. Key. Set. And right now I should choose all my both groups for each finger. And let's click load driven and with shift let's choose this rotate values but at first I want to create another attribute right here to enum right here are both and let's do it blue and let's change green to the line 
and press add. And right now I want to look selected right here. And after that, let's press none cable. Let's create another attribute R fist here zero and one and let's press add and you can see right here and right now let's press load driver right here so let's close this Let's select our fist and press key and actually let's check right here you can see that these values right now have an This connection and in another pose we can see this case and right now I want to start the pose of my fist but first of all I should change my value right here to the one and right here I can just took values of the rotation my fingers from my previous hand So at first let's put values on these four fingers. No. Copy. Right here. Not thumb right here let's put this value right here right here both right here and right here and the same for another joints for another controls
and right here we can see different values so let's copy one by one index minus 90 minus 90 index 0 2 let's find right here index 0 2 and paste this value right here and the next middle zero two let's copy this value middle zero two right here paste this value next finger I just made this pose so I don't want to repeat I just want to copy these values so let's continue middle so the next will ring ring right here let's copy this value ring zero two ring zero two and next finger let's copy this value lit zero two lit zero two And the last pose on these four fingers. Zero three. And again, right here. Let's copy this value. So it's index 0, 3. Let's find index at the 0, 3. And paste this value. And the next finger the same value the same the same all fingers minus 90 so right here minus 90 right here minus 90 right here and right here let's check on our mesh yeah looks not bad and uh, the last one it's a thumb right here Okay, let's start from this value. Right 
right here. And second value right here. And the last one. Copy and paste right here. And next pose. Let's copy this value. Zero one. Zero one. Right here. And next value. Copy. Right here. And the last value. group the last only one value copy and paste right here okay and to start this pose, let's click again key right here and let's check middle mouse here, yeah, it works great. But right now all my fingers turns in the same time you can see right here and in this hand I made in this way you can see that they are not in the same position it looks a little bit more interesting so let's make the same on this side so let's close this window and open animation and we need graph editor and windows animation graph editor and again I just can took my values from my previous fist for example for my thumb right here you can see 0 0.20 and let's make the same for my right side here, right here let's choose this and write point 20 and for other fingers the same so index pose pose both 
zero value okay middle pose pose zero point ten so let's repeat on this side middle let's choose this point and write point 10 and let's find another finger again pose pose let's just copy this value ring pose 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 and right here and the last one pose 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 let's copy this value and paste to my last finger okay Let's try. And you can see that they are not the same. And let's go to OK. 